Welcome back to the Beard of Beer Review channel, back for another review. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. What we do, we drink beer, we talk about it. Um, uh, I think you've already seen, well, I don't know when I'll post this, but anyway, shout out to my buddy Steven who hooked me up with some veil that came from them Coleman, hashtag Coleman Strong boys. Um, and I'm stoked. This is part of the Zero IBU series from the Vale. I've had I Don't Want to Be You, and I'll post a link to it right here. I think I reviewed it. A long time ago maybe a year ago roughly a year ago anyway um, same logo old man punk rocker emo dude on the front with their eyes X'd out this is a red can this is I'm really done with you this is a triple IPA um, double dry hop triple IPA 11% ABV the Vale Brewing there's the can you can see that Enough talking into the glass we go. Them Coleman boys, one of them says this beer is great, the other says it is garbage. So I don't even know. I know one of them watches. We shall see. Into the glass. We're going into the Nathan Ryerson glass up behind the bar. Oh, smell it though. <sighs> Mosaic and Citra, I believe. Got about a pinky of head on it. And you can smell this thing. You got You've got melon, oranges, some tangerines. Anyway, let's talk about how it looks. <laughs> there it is. Hazy as all get out. Haze for days. Looks like pineapple, orange juice, unfiltered, thick. Can't mean there's a huge light back here, y'all. And I can't see any of it through that. That's just sitting in the glass, though. Let's continue getting a nose on it. Yeah, so it's got it does. It's got that melon, that blueberry thing, that orange, that piney, some malty booziness coming off the top of it too. Some sweet, almost honey-like notes in that sweetness of the booze too. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, I think that's it. I think that's. Yeah, that's pretty much what it smells like. It smells like a big triple IPA um, that's been hopped to death. But there's supposed to be no bitterness on the back end of this thing. so Or no perceivable bitterness, right? That's what the IBUs really are, is perceived bitterness. So anyway, let's get a taste. Mm. Mouthfeel medium plus. Big, full, creamy mouthfeel. Finishes dry on the sides of your tongue. This thing is big, y'all. Backside of this thing has got some, uh, like, caramel, malty booziness going on. A little bit of hot burn. Front end is more of that melon, bright citrus notes. Even some pithy grapefruit that doesn't come it comes across as juicy as opposed to bitter. But it is a triple. It's a triple IPA. I'm not gonna ding it for that though, because it's it is what it's supposed to be. It's almost syrupy at times. Um, I've got that's the second sip, and I've got chest burn from it already. Um, from the booze. It is hot, there is no doubt. Uh, but it's a big triple IPA, so eleven percent. Um, they ain't trying to hide it. I mean, I guess they're trying to, and they're doing a pretty good job until about right here, and it's it's hot. Um, it's okay. It does have the juiciness up front, like I talked about, the oranges, the grapefruit, that melon there. The maltiness is huge in this beer. Um some sweetness, no bitterness to detect. It really is. It's less bitter than I don't want to be you, um, if I remember correctly. But is it my favorite veil? No, not even close. 
I've had fake love, um, bros night out. I don't know. There's a bunch. I've had a bunch. I've had like seven or eight veil beers. That's not a bunch, but I've had I've had enough um, for a better sample. This is just. I mean, it's good. It's just not their best. The zero IB year, the zero IBU series for me though is fun. It's fun to try. It's fun to get these huge flavors with like like little to no bitterness in this. But this beer is really, really, really boozy. Um, almost to the point of like syrupy boozy, if that makes any sense. But glad I got to try it. It's a good beer. It's fun. But not my favorite veil. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this one. Until next time, y'all. Cheers.